If they don't get reinforcements, I think we got a shot. If they get reinforcements, we're totally screwed. I mean, it is Queek head taker himself. I just said I think we got a shot. I didn't say we'd win. I get no intel at all. I don't even get to know if they got reinforcements. Nope. And you don't even, and you don't get a pre-battle. We start marching in a line, so you gotta gift units and organize yourself on the fly. This, Shit. Ar this army, aside from being vetted, is such a garbage army, though. I know. Well, I mean, the whole point of them, it was meant to operate in a system, and I probably should have fought that first fight. But it was meant to operate in a system where this was the first line, and the specialized units from the other militaries backed them up. That was the shtick. That ass wiggle shaking the camera, though. I was about to say, that fucking hip sway. Jesus Christ, is she a prostitute? It's Well, yes. But also, it's shaking the whole camera. But the whole time when it's... I hate how they angle your camera, too. I just straight up paused it. All right. They're getting reinforcements. We're fucked. Um, well, if we move quickly. That means they're getting all of their reinforcements. Yeah, so we got to you know, move our ass. All right, so as promised, I'm giving you the calf. Do you want wolves to back you up? Or would you rather have the feral bats? Uh, it's your call. Which one, like, how, what do you want to control? I'm going to give you the wolves because they're more like calf, and the bats I can use for harassers. Okay. All right, let's go. I gotta put together a line very quickly. And crypt ghouls aren't good for charges, right? No. Okay. Have them fall in along here. Have the bats move in. The bats need to get on those fucking Skaven Slave Slingers like yesterday. Corpse cart needs to move. These zombies have got to get in there. In fact, I want these guys to all back up. No, what are you doing, dumbasses? Boneheads. I think I pulled those bats in time. I did. Good. Oh, I just think they warp bombed. Because the they black knight, the black knights at lances and barding just got cut in half. So I think they used the warp bomb and blew up one of their units. I just threw an earthing rod. I also threw seduction down. See if I can free up your corpse cart. Yeah, that one got fucked up. I'm sorry. I told him to move and he didn't get moving quick enough. Bats pull. Grab this clan rats. Fucking Eshin triads yeah, trying to chase down the wolves. They have so many spears. This is bullshit. Get on him! I didn't raise you from the dead for no fucking reason. Well, hopefully we can deal enough damage to make this worthwhile. I'm throwing spells like a mofo. Fuck. All the calves almost gone because they used another Skaven warp bomb. 
blew up the warp grinders. Fuck. The corpse car got free at least. Yeah. It's actually causing one of the Black Knights to crumble because it took so much explosive damage. Jesus. The Crypt Ghouls got caught up, unfortunately. Not really much I can do but leave them because they're actually doing good fucking work. Why are my bats not listening? I'm gonna try and get a charge in the storm vrim with the remaining knights. We've lost this, but I don't think to like ma to like magical effect or anything. I think we've actually done some damage. Considering the other two armies haven't even made it here yet. It's really the Skaven Warp Bombs that are killing us. I think we're going to get rid of these Storm Vermin at least. I'm out of magic, I think. I have five in reserve, but that's it. That left flank's about to collapse. He's made the mission. Thank you. Huh? Why'd she give me some? Oh. You s really kind of shit the bed on this one, huh? I mean, at, there's a certain point when there's nothing you can do. Now I'm saying campaign-wise, like, my movements weren't very good. Like, I shit the bet on that. This is just a result of that. Yeah. Alright, Storm Vermin are handled over here. But the whole army's just falling apart. I have another overcharged Braze Dead I can use. That's my last gasp. An abstraction I can pop again. That's everything I've got. I'm tapped out. Yeah, a whole shitload of heroes came over here. Their ability should be failing more often, though, because I threw the fucking rod in the ground. Yeah, well, they're not using magic. Our earthing route only helps me, never mind. Thinking of the trickster oh, shard. That was the for them. I hate when I see in melee winning crumbling. Yeah, it's annoying. I did at least move my mage enough to get them back in my influence, though, if that means anything. I think it was too little too late, but thought was there. Storm Vermin are coming back. It's going to be the nail in the coffin. Yeah, we're done. Morale's failing. I'm I mean, just gonna go ahead and fucking do this. Yeah. In fairness, it's not really that great of an army that they killed, and they took significant losses, especially sacrificing units for Skaven Warp Bomb. Like, there's a lot of rats laying on the ground. Yeah, they lost two of their warp grinders. They lost a unit of storm vermin. They almost lost two units of storm vermin. They lost. They lost a lot of shit. And like, I mean, they was, lost over a thousand guys. Yeah, this is a good example though. Queek comes in with three heroes, and we don't bring any heroes. 
our hero game needs improvement. It really does. I'll give you that. I mean, what are you talking about that? Is that why you've been playing a solo campaign to experiment with that? I'm, not, I'm still not doing a very good job in the solo campaign. But Scryer plays a little bit differently, too. Really? I mean, I'm reloading this at this point. I'm auto resolving and reloading this at this point. Um, I mean, this is a good No, this is a, this is a total failure. Sometimes in Total War, you just have to eat shit and bounce back. There won't be a bounce back here. I'm going to lose so much fucking territory, there won't be a bounce back. At least not down here. This is a reload moment, unfortunately. I mean, it's pretty far from... It's, pre it's a pretty long way from your heart, you know? I know that, but the problem is getting another military down here is going to take so long. I'm going to lose like half the ter or not half, but a fair bit of the territory. You, I took. you spawn a lord right there. We had a massive battle. You can probably just raise an army. It's pretty good. Let me try and at least correct my first tactical mistake. And if I get fucked anyways, then I get fucked. I'm done. As far as I won't reload again. That fair? Why don't you just see what you get from the raised dead pool in? The Lamia area. I lost all of my heroes, and the only lord I have left there is Vlad, and he's full on everything. He's actually my best army. Yes, but like, you just spawn the Raised Dead Pool is not bad, but. So, are you going to try and play the game, or are you just going to reload? Uh, Avalon has added Reload King to your title. I mean, considering I've recognized the fuck up, and I know how to fix it, so I do, so I do it right, I just fight the first battle and probably win it. I don't think it's such an unreasonable ask, but... It's it's kind of not in the spirit of total war. Like if you're having an actual war, and you're like, I know, sorry I'm Hitler, aware. just let me redo that battle, okay? <sighs> the fucking pool sucks ass. The if you just spawn armies, the more armies of yours they kill and they take losses, the better the pool's going to get. If they don't outright kill you, and have a war of attrition against you, they're just making you stronger. I got two Grave Guard, one of which is Great Weapons, a Hex Race, a Vargeist, and a Corpse Cart so far. It's pretty good. It's a lot better than the armies that you had. The real loss is losing Isabella. That's what fucking burns my ass the most. Yeah, but she comes back in a few turns, and you can spawn her right there, too. Well, yeah, but I've got to run Vlad's ass out of there, because he's not very good without her. That's the problem. Vlad is an excellent lord by himself. He doesn't need the buff that bad. Maybe two crypt horrors and then do mostly mainline infantry. And in fairness, if you're worried about the buff that much, you wouldn't have moved Isabella and left Glad behind. It's like skeleton spearmen. There you go. Two black knights to act as calf. I'm at 16 out of 20 with two Grave Guard, one with Great Weapons, six Skeleton Spearmen, one Hex Wraiths, two Black Knight, one Vargeist, two Crypt Horrors, and a Balefire Corpse Cart. It's pretty good. What do you think else I should add? Maybe an Unholy Lodestone Corpse Cart as well? Or is he going to need more mainline? What do you think? You've got lots of battle line. You need... So, Grave Guard with Great Weapons are a hammer. Grave Guard without great weapons are an anvil. Skeletons are all anvils. Hex rays are hammers. Black knights are hammers. Vargeists are hammers. Crypt horrors are hammers. Corpse carts support. And your lord is a is a support and a hammer. 
So maybe some one more corpse cart, maybe an unholy lodestone one for the regen. Yeah, and like, do you have the option to recruit heroes here? You can get a banshee. I don't think so no. I mean, I could check. I could also get an unit of Sylvanian crossbowmen. That'd be good. But like, you could recruit a banshee there. That's an ethereal hero. I can get a banshee. I can also get a white king. White kings are excellent duelists. With zero skill points, it's a bit tough, but once they get a couple skill points, they just go around slaying characters left and right. I, 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 I get them at rank 13. That's pretty good. I also have one available with... Uh, I have one with Strategist, one with Confident, and one with Tough. Tough's armor 25 and melee defense plus 5. I mean, that's really good. I'll snag him. Where's he at? I'll throw him in that new army. Training. Now it's 18 out of 20, so I have... See, in this military... Where's the White King? He's not showing up. Fuck. Did he get embedded in the wrong army? Where'd he go? He can't embed the turn he's summoned. Okay. But so he's the, still waiting. The army that you summoned can't move the turn it's summoned, so it works. So I've got one more left to embed, or one more unit left to recruit. So I'll have the White King, my Strigoi, two Grave Guard, one with Grave Weapons, um, six Skeleton Spearmen, one Crossbowmen, one Hex Rays, two Black Knights, one Vargas. I'll just recruit the Banshee. Orders. One corpse card with unholy lodestone and one corpse card with balefire. You think I should still get a banshee? Yeah. I wonder if I can afford one. I got money. You can have some. Yeah, I can. Uh, I'm probably going to get one with aggressive then, maybe. Charge bonus plus eight, weapon strength plus 10%. Because then Cause next, they're already ethereal. Next turn, you embed those into your army and then you can move the army. All right. Let's go ahead and get them. Uh leveled here. While you're doing that, I will acquire a drink because I thirst. That's fine. Alright. I don't have any armor, I think, for you, unfortunately. Although... Where's Malachar at? The Malachar ain't doing shit. He don't need that armor. Nah, he's just hanging out. He don't need that. Ditch that off you. You get nothing. Let's ensure my white can get some better armor. Give you glittering scales. And since it takes a turn to equip gear, you could even, like, just Emil deck them Posner's, out. Emil Posner is dead, so I can go ahead and give him the Shrieking Blade because she is dead. Um... What's ward save? I always forget what ward save does. It's a flat damage reduction. So the white king's the ward save. So if you have like ward save ten percent, you just take ten percent less damage from everything. Uh, should I give him potion of healing or potion of strength? You think? Um. Do you trust yourself to use Potion of Strength as you charge, but before the charge hits? Actually, Potion of yeah. Healing would probably be ass. Um, it's plus 1584 hit points. Yeah, but put it, put it on the Banshee. Okay, so I'll give my White because, King Potion of Strength then. Because it's ethereal, and that'd be really twatty to just, like, heal it. <laughs> yeah. I also have a bunch of stuff I can... A bunch of followers I can give. So let's toss my White King. Uh, I don't know. Let's give him a Black Cat. Let's give him a Corpse Thief. As you command. And my Banshee's going to embed there too. Increased mobility. Cool. Now for my Strigoi himself. He's already spent his skill points. Like he has one in Invocation of the Heck, one in the Curse of Undeath, and two in the Spirit Leech. 
He's also got a Moreland former and he's got carrion. Let's also give him a tre I don't know about a treasure. Let's give him restless spirit because it's more public order. Let's give him a crone. Casting item. Amber Trace absorbs leadership from self and plus eight leadership to self, but minus eight leadership. It's a hex in an area. Yeah, so it's really good against Skaven. Because you take leadership away from the Skaven, which already have low leadership, and add it to your undead, which makes them not crumble. Give him that. Enchanted items. They're already a ludicrously strong lord. Let's give him Potion of Foolhardiness so he's unbreakable the if I need it. Will drown in blood. I don't have any armor to really give you, I don't think. I mean, I, I guess I can give you the Shield of Potolus. As far as hand weapon goes. Everything dies. Yeah, it's probably good. And then my Wraith needs to be leveled. You get a few levels. Also, I'm going to go ahead and give you that potion of healing before I forget. Um. Uh, Bloody Blade. Let's give you one into Gutter Fighter so you're more of a melee focused unit. Because you already have some defense because you're ethereal and Skaven don't have that many magic attacks. Wad, can I get. Is there any chance I can get you the fuck out of there? I shall go. Yeah, let's run you the hell out of there and see if I can manage to regroup some of this. Run you over to Vlad so he has some reinforcements and there's some discouragement. I'll take the minus hit 13 to Lamia. It's not that big of a deal at this point. Yeah. All right. And you're probably making bank now that you don't have like five stacks of shit. Dude, you have no idea. I'm actually making 10k a turn. Well, because. Like, I have 12 armies, and the additional upkeep is 8,146. If I didn't have those, I'd be making 10 or 11. So here's another question. Do I give my, do I give my white king a skeletal steed? I always do. Oh. The extra mobility it gives and the charge bonus it gives when you pop his abilities like Foe Seeker. So I'm definitely straight up just making him like a hardcore duelist. Apparently I received the title Stat Master from Evelina. He is the Stat Master, there's not even a question there. Um, I'm almost considering giving him bonuses of training because each turn that's five experience. I can vet this army pretty quickly. Yeah, it's good. Um, the immediate Maybe concern... Yeah, the immediate concern is killing the Skaven, but, you know, after that, put them in training. I gave him Foe Seeker, so he's, he's up to there now. Maybe just maybe just give him a massive amount of leadership now, that way wherever he is, if there's units around him, they will not break. Well, the leadership is, I think that particular leadership is for him, which means he won't crumble when he's away from the Lord. Which okay. Which is really, really important for a duelist. Right now he's got two into thick skin, two into deadly blade, and one into devastating charge, and one into foe seeker. It's not bad. So you think give him indomitable then, or should I go ahead and like give him like scarred veteran or wound maker or blade shield? Uh, scarred Oops. veteran's real good. All right. Because Skaven have a lower HP pool, but they have more models in the unit. So, okay. if he, he just has shitloads of HP and armor, he'll just go in. He'd probably, like, tank just units of clan rats and shit. But All he's right. better Maybe at fighting him... leaders. Maybe I'll give him one more to charge, then, just for that morale penalty. And the damage. Like, yeah. with Foe Seeker on and a good charge into an enemy hero, he can just, like, half health them in one hit. 
cool. All right. Um, let's see here. Lamia's got enough of a garrison that if I stay somewhat close to that, I don't think I have a concern. And Oscar St Stillman is still not a horrible unit into himself. He could use some improvement, but he could be far worse. And Vlad, Vlad's army is fucking vetted. Like, he's got six units of, let's see, seven units of Grave Guard, one unit of, or three units of Crypt Ghouls, a unit of Skeleton Warriors, but they're the Königstein Stalkers, so I figured it was fine. Two units of Hex Rays, one additional unit of Hex Rays, which is the Chill Geist, two Fell Bats, a Mortis Engine, and two Corpse Guards. Like, Vlad's fucking stack. Yeah. As long as you don't get ambushed, his corpse carts will be able to actually give their buffs. Oh, alright. Let's call it here. I think we'll be fine. Turn to